Hey guys. Mr. Coffee. It's on. Power's running to it. It clicks. Oh, my burner's cold. It won't brew coffee. Water's supposed to fall from the upstairs here. Down through this, through the burner, because this heats up. Percolates through, drips through your coffee, makes your coffee. That's not happening. Let's find out why. So what we're going to do now is, this is a coffee pot. It could be any coffee pot for that matter. Um, so we have a coffee pot. This happens to be Mr. Coffee. <clears throat> and my wife told me, honey, it's not working. So I broke it down. I, I took it all apart. I, coffee pots are real simple. Um, there's a there's a board, a circuit board that you're going to run into. This one happens to have wires that go up to an LED up top that give you the time and temperature and all that kind of stuff. Um, but they're real simple. There's a, a relay that can turn it off if it gets too hot, when you turn the power on, those types of things. Um, there's also thermostat. There's going to be um, some resistors in there. So a couple of things that I don't understand, but it doesn't matter. Here's what we're doing. We're fixing it. And this is broke. And you can't break it anymore. If it's broke, it's broke. So tinker with it. Find it out. Be careful. I mean, you're working with you know, 110 here. So some points of this can electrocute you. So power comes in from the wall right here. Goes into these spots here. So you cross those. It's like sticking your finger into an outlet. So be careful, please. Um, so what, what I'm going to show you today is just how to test to see what the problem is. <clears throat> Some of the common problems can be a thermostat could be bad. Um, you also have fuses. Um, I don't know when it happened back in the 80s or 90s. They, they decided that every appliance is going to have fuses that can intercept any problems that happen. And um, overheating, short circuiting, things like that. <clears throat> so we're going to test all that to see what happens. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to unplug the unit and test for resistance. So finding out if their circuits broke between the, the two points that I'm checking. <clears throat> so now we have a cold unit um, right in here. These right here are the fuses. So uh, we'll test each one of them, see what we got. Before and after, that fuse looks good. Before and after, that fuse looks good. This right here is a thermostat, so that can regulate on and off. If it's too hot, it turns it off. It needs to heat up, it turns back on. So let's test that. Lots of times this will go bad. No. Nope. Looks good. So it's not the thermostat, it's not our fuses, and now we have the element. The element runs here and runs all the way around the base of where the coffee pot sits. So that should be open. Um, one thing you want to make sure you do is on the on your fuse board, remember this is unplugged, so you don't want to be doing this while this is plugged in. Um, unplug one of the sides, either the send or the return for the power. I'm going to do this, this send. This one says out. So my positive lead is off. And so what I'm doing is I'm breaking the, the flow of the current because it'll give you a false connectivity because it'll go back through the circuit board. So just make sure that's off. Then you can do your other testing. Probably do that before all this testing because this is continuity. Um, the reason why I know the other ones are done is because I did all this before I did the video. So um, I know my element's bad. And so what I'm going to do is show you how that is, how it's true. <clears throat> so now we're going to test each side of the element. So where the, you can see the little element here poking out. Do that. And then the other side of the element. 
and as you see, you get nothing from our ohms meter. Um, there's no resistance. There's no, nothing's going on there. So what that means is something inside the element has actually broken. Um, over time, the heat will actually dissipate that and break that down. Uh, you see a lot in smokers uh, for like making jerky and stuff like that. Uh, I might do another video on that because my little chief is actually broken as well. But as far as this application, that's what you're looking for. So where I started was I looked at the board and you're looking for any kind of burnt diode, burnt resistor, burnt uh, wiring. And I didn't see any of that. So I was real stumped. Um, thanks to my dad, um, we went through it and figured out it was the element. So fixed it. Not this time, but at least we figured out why it's broke and then we can toss it in the garbage feeling good that we're not throwing something good away. All right, fixed it. You can do it too.